When I woke up this morning, there were two things I wanted to do. Chew some bubble gum and kick some ass. And you know what? I ran out of bubble gum this morning. Look, Charlie, man, we're sorry. We, after we took a camping trip, we had to stop at McDonald's this morning so they could change and get some breakfast. And just, We had sorry. a planned time to film today. But no, you went on your stupid little kitty camping trip. And Joe, what the hell? You're supposed to be the leader of these damn misfits. What kind of leader are you? Think about that question. The rest of you, get the hell to work. Geez, that was intense. Yeah, I haven't been scolded like that since 2008. What the heck happened in 2008? Uh, I've got a leaf blower and walk through town and blew it in everyone's faces. Why? You know, if I were related to you in any way, I'd probably kill myself by now. Just saying. A coup? Way to show up on time, you slackers. You literally had one job to do. Um, actually, Jenny, we had, um, five jobs to do. <laughs> Mom said you're in big trouble for this. <laughs> Mama's boy. So can you guys explain how you actually got here? Blue powder. Lots and lots of blue powder. Yeah, but like, could somebody get me some bug bite ointment? Like, now? Oh, here, here, I got some. Thanks. No, really, how did you guys get back here? Because, what, you scared us at like 5 in the afternoon yesterday. So how did you get back here so quick? We took a bus. I don't hear you guys working. Yeah, we should, we should probably get started, like, now. Here we have everything. Yep. So, uh, how are things going between you and Penny? Not good. It was, uh, steadily progressing for a moment, but then we kind of hit a stalemate, so. Ooh. That sucks. She kind of lost interest, I think. Are you talking about your doomed for failure, you know, teen romance drama? Yep. I mean, it's just kind of not going the way I expected it to. Well? What? How'd you expect it to, to go? Well, I thought of it being like a cliche, you know, a few bumps in the road, but by the end of the first act, they'd be together. Well, buddy, the first act ended a few weeks ago. Mm. Believe me, I'm trying to think of a master plan to woo Penny, but with all these distractions, Benji getting in the way, filming, I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, I have an idea. Why don't you literally just walk up to her and tell her that you love her? Yeah, tell her about it. Tell her everything you feel. I love that song. Jenny? Shut up! Benji, be a little bit nicer to me, okay? Because Mom didn't drive me here all the way from Jeff City to listen to you gripe at me. Jenny, how about you quit nagging me and go do your makeup? Okay, listen, I know that I'm going to be the lead role of this new film, but I can't put all that horror zombie makeup on my face. Ray, you've literally asked for a makeup artist every single day since you've been here. Now is your chance. No, I want a makeup artist because I want to look glamorous, not because I want to look hideous. You want to look glamorous? What's more glamorous than a half-dead zombie? Aren't zombies already dead? Yeah, I'm out. Well, it looks like you're having some trouble, Howard. I act, all right? I'm not a little girl in a haunted house. Yeah, you're right. You're a little girl that's alive and well. So I finally met Ray. I know, it must be amazing meeting a big star like me. Who are you again? Jenny, Jenny St. John. Jenny St. Who? St. John. Oh, okay. You're Benji's sister. Yes, and unfortunately I am. Oh, why are you here? Well, I'm here against my will. I'm the only one that he trusted to do the makeup. Oh, so you don't want to be here? Heck no. I have a life back home. Oh. Okay, ladies, can we apply this makeup like 
now. Sue me! Miranda, I've already practiced on you like four times. That was fun. All right, who's the actor? That would be me. Sorry, Miranda, gotta do it all right. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, hey, we're, we're in the world of oh, Ginger. Oh, going into makeup. Okay, that's good. Yeah, she, she trashed the company a little bit. Ginny! No, let him finish, it's okay. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? Not, not good. Damn it, Miranda! Some days it gets pretty boring around here. You know, all by myself. Kinda sucks. The show manager basically put me in charge of watching the Ragweed set. But I guess that pretty much makes me the bodyguard, as some might say. You're mine, you little bastard. <laughs> since I can't believe it's not done. Okay, people, let's get this going. Howard, we need those batteries charged. They're charging. There's nothing I can do to make them go faster. Okay, and Miranda, I want a nice coffee, okay? But hold the coffee. I just want pure cream and sugar. I don't know how to make that. Well, figure it out. Benji, where's the script? Joe, stop acting like a typical Hollywood director. Damn it, you're right. Where's my talent? Ray? Ew, what is that? Don't worry, it can literally be washed off. It's all natural. Oh. And don't worry about all the other bloody stuff either. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not coded in. So, Benji let me read the script, and it's just aliens. There aren't even any zombies in it. Wait, what? There's a script? Yeah. Did you not get it? No. What the heck? Neither do I. Well, all right. I don't need to be treated this way that I always do. I'm not as much of a jerk as everybody thinks I am. Ray, you're kind of a jerk. What? No, I'm not. I'm flawless. Ray, you're just like every other wannabe Hollywood actor. Don't you dare compare me to everyone else. It's true, Ray. You're a diva. You think you're entitled to everything and you think that you're better than everyone. Oh my god, what is your problem, you devil child? So the battery's like completely gone. Oh. Jenny, what'd you do? I told him what he needed to hear. Gosh, the mom gave you one job and that's not to cause problems. It turns out that's all you've done all day. Stop yelling at me, Benji. No! Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I didn't want. You're too problematic. You don't belong on a film set. Benji, that was a little too hard, man. What was that about? I've been holding that in for years. Wrong time for it to come out, I guess. Yeah, we can't afford this now. Look, guys, we need to shoot. No. Yeah, no. Okay, what happened between you guys in there? She exposed me. No, what? you didn't. Yeah, she was the only person I ever opened up to. Then she exposed me for it. Benji? He always does this. Look, you should know. Benji's just, he's passionate. Okay? okay, but he doesn't need to be so mean about it. Well, I mean, he just doesn't want to be behind on his work. He's always got to work. Okay, well, either way, I can't work with all these bug bites. Okay, look, let's just forget about all these problems, okay? The, the, the one thing that is, you know, unique about our group is that we all have passion. We can't deny that. But what we can do is use these passions that we all have and, you know, to fuel a project. So can we at least please give it a shot? Come on. Damn it. Can't deny it. Gotta love Stanza. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, real quick. So, I don't know how the heck it happened, but the green screen straightened. Camera batteries all charged. Do you have any idea how that happened? Maybe it was a little uh, magical film fairy just came down and fixed it. Or the film Harry Potter. I know he's capable of it. Great movie. It is a great movie. Okay, we need to get back to work. You're right. Let's go, people. Well, I guess I uh, sensed there was a problem. Cameras. But uh, I felt bad for the bunch and uh, went down and fixed everything. Don't tell them that, though. I would hate for them to know. Pardon me, Benji. Why are you walking in front of the camera? Shh. Oh, uh, 
Okay, what do I do? So the first shot is Yuri, uh, that's you, Ray, uh, getting abducted by a UFO. This sounds kind of stupid. Just, just do it. Roof and Shooter, take one. And action. I don't get it. What is taking Penny so long? Well, it's a big project. I don't expect it to be done for another 30 minutes or so. Well, she's probably upset, you know, rendering all the aliens up there when we're down here filming, so. So, does anybody, like, want to be eliminated? No. A little bit. Interns only, please? I definitely do not. Same goes for me. What about you, Ray? You already know the answer to that. So, Joe, how do you think Roof Intruder is going to come out? Um, actually pretty good based on what I've seen so far. Why do you say that? Because I was in it. Can I be in your guys' next film? Can I not be in it? Miranda, no. Jenny, no! Well, can I at least write or edit one? Uh, <laughs> no. Dang, you guys are intern supremacists. A little bit. I'd say more than just a little bit. What is taking Penny so long? You know, she does have to 3D render aliens. Hold on. Oh, boo-hoo. Penny just texted me. She said the project's done, so I'm gonna go get it. Well, as another elimination approaches, I feel the same strange emptiness. Well, that's not gonna change. Got the card. Son. Here you go. Thanks. So where is Penny now? Well, apparently she's checking Facebook right now, so I don't ha! know if she'll be back. It does still exist. What? Wait, well, remember, remember back on day two, I made the Facebook comment, and then Penny and Ray kind of teamed up on me? No. Cool. Look, guys, I usually have some sort of sappy comment to say, but really, I got nothing. Yeah, let's just admit that this was a good run, and whoever goes will be missed. Fair enough. Well, jury spoke. They said the writing was great. Yes! They loved the cinematography. The CG aliens, they absolutely loved. Well, Penny's not here right now, but she'd be thankful. So... If you're catching my drift, they weren't a big fan of the acting. What? Like, why? They didn't like that you were uh, constantly itching and smacking yourself. God, I am totally screwing things up. First, I got him arrested, and now I caused this. Well, shit. Sorry, son. Ah, oh, shit. Didn't think this one was gonna be hard. Uh, best of luck, kid, in your future acting gigs. So, you think I'll make it? I know it, kid. Ray, listen. I just want to let you know, it was, uh, it was fun working with you and um, a lot of funny, funny times. So, uh, I just want to say, uh, you know, uh, good luck and I believe you'll make it, so. Thanks. You know, you're probably the most tolerable one out of all of them, except for the haircut. Oh. Thank you. Anyways. Ray, you've been a thorn in my side since you got here. I'm gonna miss you. Don't get too sappy. I'll see you later. Well, Ray? Look, it's really been a pleasure to work with the great Ray Raymond. I know you don't mean that, but either way, I kind of respect you. Well, touche. Huh. That was fast. Hold on, Ray. One more thing. We haven't seen your eyes yet. Oh, a bit of an odd question, but all right. I've been told they're pretty intense. <laughs> See you in Hollywood, boys.
I've waited for 